So what do we need to do to get aroused? Now, for many of us, there's this really common viewpoint today of it doesn't matter what happens inside of your head. Right? That, by the way, is not God's viewpoint. But it is a viewpoint of man. So in other words, with sex, a lot of times, like we're having sex with one person, but we're thinking about the other person that we'd really like to be having sex with, right? And that's the only thing that it makes us get aroused. What, what are we ignoring? Well, firstly, we're not love, are we? We're not being love at that point, right? We're ignoring some major emotional issues with the person that we're with. We're skipping over all of that. And we're ignoring the fact that we want to be with someone who we're not with. And heaps of grief-based emotions about that. We're ignoring quite a lot when we think about it. Does that make sense? Now, some of you are starting to feel really judged here. You notice that feeling? Right? You're feeling like, oh my God, like, like this is getting restricting, more restricting, more restricting, more restricting, more restricting. More restricting. Can you feel that feeling? Uh, some of you are feeling that feeling, right? Well, go with that feeling. <laughs> Let yourself feel that feeling. I'm just telling you the truth about sex from God's perspective. I'm not saying, judging you and I'm not feeling, saying you can't keep doing what you're currently doing. But if it's unloving, it will cause you damage. That's all I'm saying. Now, things like threesomes, for example, where you have uh, two males, one female, or two females, one male where one person is being looked after, two people may not, or there's this, uh, where there's a dominant role in the relationship. All of those have to do with emotional injuries too. Right? They all have to do with what's going on inside of our soul. So let ourselves connect with that. In the end, remember the pristine condition is, here's me, here's my soulmate. I'm going to connect with my soulmate, and it's going to be beautiful, why would I want any other connection? Well, because of emotional injuries, that's the only reason why I'd want another connection. So allow yourself to experiment with the emotional injuries. So if you're in a threesome, what is happening? Like, what's going on inside of yourself? What's the feeling? Why are you doing it? Is it making you feel powerful? So if it's two men with one woman, is it, if it, and you're the woman, is it making you feel powerful? Is that why you're in this transaction? Because you want to be sexually powerful, which means that you feel that you're not. Right? What emotions am I avoiding in these situations? Allow yourself to feel about them. You know, many times we use sex to punish, don't we? Or control. So we use sex like, there's this, often this feeling of like, I'm going to have sex with you, but only if you give me something. It's a feeling. It's not a, something you maybe say. Does that make sense? So let yourself feel the feeling. Let yourself feel the feelings and work your way through the issue emotionally. Let yourself do that. Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah. yeah?